So today's look is inspired by actually Sade the singer. And we went to do a really strong braid, but at the same time, it's something you could do yourself. We wrap the ponytail around, and then we take two sections, take them both clockwise, and then go counterclockwise with it. Some of the girls and guys here were specifically picked for their looks. They're very PS, you know, and so you're gonna see uh, some of the guys long, curly, shaggy hair, but it's not too fixed or not too done. It's just they're taking a look at what's natural about them and enhancing their natural look, because they already have a good look. Look for Public School is all about keeping that minimal feel, but yet very effective. So really it's a handsome brow with slashes of white on the eye, but it's not about three white lines across the eye. It's about highlighting the eye with flecks of white. This is my third season working with Public School, so they are my favorite designers. For us, it was just more about fluidity, sheerness, you know, this idea of reverence, you know, like making something feel spiritual. And I think it came across, you know, in sort of the lengths, the robes. But yeah, I mean, it was really about this girl taking a journey, sort of unplugging and like thinking about herself, sort of traveling the world and coming back with a new perspective. She's just evolved. I think she keeps evolving. The more you learn and the more, the more you feel more confident, this girl keeps changing and she's forever changing. And I think the more she travels, the more she starts to grow, the collection will grow with her. Oh, it's awesome. I mean, I'm excited. The setting looks amazing. And I know they're about to kill this. And I have one public school right now. It's just their distinction, you know? I feel like when you see their pieces, you know it's them. The grunge, the edge, just everything about it. The brand overall, I just think is great. It definitely speaks to me, anyway. I'm wearing like see-through one piece and then put on black jacket. Really cool. I like it. That's my style. Like really cool. I love so much. When I preparing for modeling, I hope to on show public school and then my dream is coming. school is always like something like cool like they're making like a lot of great stuff it's like just like mixing around like you can mix whatever it's just amazing so the 
am gonna wear in public school like trousers and there is like t-shirt and on the top it's the dress going down and it's pretty cool. They invited me, first of all. <laughs> Everyone always wants to be invited to the public school fashion show. I mean, like, they're on the rise. They're not even on the rise anymore. Last year they were on the rise, and now they've, like, they've claimed their spot. So, and their stuff is just really dope, man. It's like a mixture of conservative, high fashion, and just, like, it's cozy, too. And it's just really fashionable as well. I love wearing black, so um, definitely fits. It's very like neutral too. Like it's not too bright. My hair is purple, so I try to stay away from like bright colors. Most of all, I stay like black, whites, like nudes. I don't think there's any separating us in New York. So it's like at the base of what we do and you know, the spirit of it you know, the freedom and the feeling that you could do whatever you want to do, you know, so long as you have the drive and the hustle to do it, then you can do it. So that's always going to come through.